A solar eclipse happens when a new moon moves between the Earth and the Sun, temporarily obscuring the Sun's light from reaching the Earth. Even though the Sun is 400 times larger than that of the Moon, it's also 400 times further away from the Earth than the Moon is. This creates a unique celestial alignment where the Sun and the Moon appear almost the same size in the sky when viewed from Earth. The science of solar eclipse is rooted in the orbits of Earth and Moon. The Moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted a few degrees relative to the Earth's orbit around the Sun, which is why we don't see eclipses every month. Eclipses can only occur during the new Moon phase when the Sun, Moon and the Earth align an alignment known as syzygy. Solar eclipses occur at least twice a year but can happen as many as five times in a year though not all types are visible from any given location on Earth. When the Moon does eclipse the Sun, it casts three types of shadows on Earth. A smaller, darker shadow known as the Umbra, a larger, lighter shadow known as the Penumbra, and the third one is Anumbra, the extension of the Moon's shadow beyond the Umbra. There are four types of solar eclipses. The first and the most spectacular is the total eclipse, when the moon completely covers the sun, revealing the sun's corona. A total eclipse can only be seen if you are standing within the umbral shadow. That's why the imaginary line created by this shadow as it passes across Earth is known as the path of totality. The path of totality is a narrow track where a total solar eclipse is visible. Being within this path, offers a sorrow experience as daylight turns to twilight, temperature drops and animals often behave as if night has fallen. The second type is the partial eclipse. People within the penumbral shadow sees only a partial eclipse where only a part of the sun is obscured. From this view outside the path of totality, the moon passes in front of the sun as if it appears to take a bite out of the sun. The third one is the annular eclipse. It's a specific type of eclipse happen when the moon is too far from Earth to completely cover the sun, leaving a bright ring-like appearance around the moon's silhouette. This phenomena is known as the ring of fire. An observer standing in the Andombra shadow sees an annular eclipse. Last one is the hybrid eclipse. It's a rare type of solar eclipse that transition between a total eclipse and an annular eclipse along different sections of its path across Earth. This phenomenon occurs because of the curvature of the Earth and variation in the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Hybrid eclipses are less common than total and annular or partial eclipse. They occur approximately once every decade. Historically, solar eclipses were both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Ancient civilization often interpreted these events as divine omens. For example, the ancient Chinese believed that a celestial dragon was devouring the sun. Today, we understand the mechanics behind eclipses, but their beauty continues to inspire all. Apologies for this interruption, but we have some breaking news. Observing a solar eclipse requires caution. Looking directly at the sun even during an eclipse can cause severe eye damage. Fortunately, there are ways to enjoy an eclipse safely. Use certified eclipse watching glasses, which are shaded thousands of times darker than any sunglasses available on the market. Always remember standard sunglasses are not safe for viewing an eclipse. You can also look at the eclipse by indirect viewing methods like pinhole projectors. Two spectacular events signals the boundaries of totality for solar eclipse are the appearance of Bailey's beads and diamond ring effect. Just before the moon completely covers the sun, low-lying valleys and mountains on the moon's edge will be the only spot where the sunlight continues to pass through. These remaining light streams through the valleys and around the peaks of the moon surface is known as Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads often led into another phenomena known as the diamond ring effect. As the last Bailey's bead fades, it can leave a single bright spot that along with the corona's glow resembles a diamond ring. This effect signals that you are just seconds away from experiencing totality. 
once the last bead disappears and the moon completely covers the sun's surface. The view through your eclipse glasses will be pitch black. Thus we can say that totality achieved. While an eclipse can last a few hours, totality typically occurs for less than 3 minutes. Total solar eclipses can have noticeable effect on animals and plants, triggering behavior that align with their natural response to dusk, night and dawn within a very short time frame. Future eclipses are eagerly anticipated by both scientists and enthusiasts. Websites and astronomical organizations provide maps and dates for upcoming eclipses. Planning to be the path of totality can offer once-in-a-lifetime experience. For more cosmic insights, don't forget to subscribe to Bright Side Science. Until next time, keep looking up.